Um, Bill, we have right. an email tonight from a viewer, and this subject okay. is right up your alley. This is talking about uh, slip and fall. Tanya asks, right. I fell in a store right before Christmas on a really rainy day, and they didn't have the caution wet floor signs out. I didn't break any bones, but I suffered from whiplash and my shoulder got jacked up. I've heard from their insurance company one time, and he told me I have to be completely through with treatment before I can file a claim. Is that how it's right. normally done? Well, uh, yes and no. I, I will tell you this. In, in a situation like this, um, if, if it's raining outside, the, the, the law in the state of Alabama states that if it's raining, um, you should know that going into a store or, you know, walking around on a sidewalk or in a store or, you know, it, you know, wherever you are, it's going to be it's going to be more wet and slippery than normal. And so in the state of Alabama, with we have the law of contributory negligence, which stands for the premise that if the plaintiff, which is the person that is injured, if they're even one percent at fault, they do not uh, have a claim. And so in a situation like 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 the caller is talking about, if the adjuster is saying, hey, you know, let's wait until your your your, your claim is, you know, your medicals are done, then that's actually kind of a good sign. But still, at the end of the day, it's going to be a very tough claim. I would immediately contact a lawyer who does this type of work and see if he or, you know, see if they have a claim. But again, when you talk about rainwater, if there's rainwater involved in the slip and fall, there's typically no case.